Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm very excited to be back with you today, February 6th, 2016. I have been on a bit of a sabbatical uh, for about the last 18 days. I've been with my teacher, Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, up in the Toronto area for a very special high-level retreat. And I bring to you the power and wisdom that I have been so blessed to receive, uh, at least that which I can share. So I've missed you all very much. Hopefully you've been able to stay connected a little bit here and a little bit there as I posted occasionally from the retreat. There was a great deal of focus on what I'll be talking about today called the Ten Da. And I'm going to be doing a series on this. I'll give you a little bit more information as we go. Uh, there are uh, some new people that will be watching this for the very first time, so I will be doing a, a reintroduction of who I am and who is uh, Dr. and Master Shah and how this wisdom came to be and how it can serve you uh, in this very volatile world we live in. Because this world is very, <laughs> it's full of a lot of unpleasant things right now, and we have to make sure we make room for the pleasant things in our life. And so today, uh, we'll be focusing on Da I, which is greatest love. This is a Mandarin Chinese word. The Da's means the greatest. And the ten Da's are the greatest of ten different virtues, ten different attributes. And so as everyone connects and collects, as more people jump in, we're going to go ahead and move forward with that deeper and higher explanation. Uh, I've seen a lot of people jumping in. I'm very happy to see some new people. I uh, saw Raul uh, jump in there and actually you just crossed my mind Raul earlier today. I was like I haven't seen him in a while. Good to see you Dana and welcome Angel. Welcome Petra coming in from the other side of the world. Hi Anne-Marie. Good to see you here. Welcome Renee and Pamela. Good to see you, Kristen, as well. I get to see a lot of your beautiful pictures you're posting on Facebook. Love that one cloud photo. Well, you showed many, but uh, one of them was really stellar. <coughs> and aloha, Kristen. Rojas. Welcome, Cheryl. Welcome, Angie Taylor. And Estelita. Good to see you, Estelita. Welcome, Norma. Patrice. And Kevin. Good to see you, Kevin. Aloha, Linda. Hopefully the blessing earlier today was beneficial for you. Uh, welcome Richard Amodio. I think you said you're coming in from uh, Thailand, right Richard? Welcome Emma, welcome. And Kathy Campbell, good to see you Kathy. Hi Lisa, I think uh, you're new to see me, live anyway. Welcome Jota, welcome Emily. Welcome Melissa Rose, Aloha, and Vishwas, Vishwas, welcome Vishwas, Aloha Stephanie, and good to see you as well Carol, CJ, good to see you, Aloha Pat. So if I haven't mentioned your name, I apologize, I'm still uh, watching some new names go by, welcome Amy, I missed all of you, so hopefully Hopefully my cell phone connection will stop hiccuping soon. <laughs> um, Toronto, Canada. What can I say? Uh, when you spend three weeks with your spiritual teacher, it's a tremendous, tremendous opportunity to, to elevate not only your wisdom and, and awareness, but also the opportunity to be a better healer and a better servant. And I was able to receive many transmissions and blessings while I was there. Uh, and you will be the benefactor of that. One of the foundational teachings that my teacher, Master Shah, shares is that the purpose of life is to serve. And to serve is to make others happier and healthier. So if I've accomplished that today, good job. So I um, also got to see a few name names pop in here. So welcome, Jana. Welcome, Savannah. And welcome, Madeline. Okay, so uh, for everybody new that's coming in, I want to take a few minutes because this will be seen by new people now and new people in new groups that, um, that Kristen is posting in. Thank you, Kristen Rojas. Give her a big hand. She's done an awesome job helping spread this word. And so um, my name is, is Paul Fletcher, 
they put they being uh, Master Shah, he, he, he's elevated me to a level called the Divine Channel. And the word Master in front of my name, it's just a word. But what it means is it gives me an opportunity to be a better servant to you. So how does that work? I have been doing live streams about six months now. And what, what I teach is what I have learned. A lot of what I have learned is that a great deal of the problems that we deal with in life, we can control and we can actually reverse. Uh, and that is not just hocus pocus or just words. This is actually happens. Almost everybody that has studied this teacher's wisdom, Dr. and Master Shah's wisdom, uh, has been able to reverse major, major conditions in their life. Re major relationship blockages, inability to find love, uh, major financial blockages, some still working on it. Um, there have been uh, huge shifts in health and health related issues, uh, emotion and mental conditions. And so the answers are, they lie in the, in the uh, wisdom based in soul. Dr. Master Shah brings to us a wisdom called soul and soul power the understanding of the soul. And we all have heard the word and it's spread throughout um, uh, literature throughout the ages. But there's really rarely been any dedicated intentional information on how to connect to our soul and how to use it and how to use soul communication with all souls to accomplish this kind of a reversal of major unpleasant things that happen in our life. So this is one of the reasons why I have uh, dedicated my life to serve because in finding this information after 25 years of searching very hard for uh, what is the reason of what is the purpose of life why am I here I came across this teacher and his wisdom about nine years ago and it has been the most profound experience in my life it has changed my life and there are many that are watching here today that will validate that it has changed their lives Dr. Master Shah takes no credit he is a uh, he is a, a servant to humanity. He gives all credit to the divine. And that's another thing I truly appreciate about him. One of the things that he says is that we can heal ourselves, that we have the power to heal ourselves. The best part about this is he's able to teach us how to accomplish that. Now, during this uh, retreat that I was in this last 18 days, we, we went into depth about how we can bring self-healing to ourselves through the 10 Das. The ten das are ten ways of being in life, not only externally, but internally towards our self. And they are Da I, the greatest love. Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. How many of us hold a grudge against somebody? It could be ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, uh, ex-anything. Ex <laughs> could be the boss that got us fired. Most all of us, uh, unless we've, we've really done a lot of purification, have blockages. What is the key? The key is forgiveness. We have heard that before. One of the great values of working with this teacher is he's written very powerful practices uh, that actually work in releasing these blockages. That's called Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. And the next one is Da Tzu Bei, the greatest compassion. Fourth Da is Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. The fifth Da is greatest uh, uh, Humility, Da Chen Bei. Again, these are Mandarin Chinese words, Da Chen Bei. Da He She, greatest harmony. The seventh is Da Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing, flourishing in every aspect of life. The eighth Da is greatest gratitude. I was trying to walk, I was walking around today, I was trying to maintain a state of gratitude. Not easy. It, the mind's always taking you here or there. It's so difficult to stay in a place of gratitude because there's so much pulling on us from so many different directions. But when we bring these great uh, virtues into our life and we have a pattern by which to bring them in, which you're going to receive each time you come to watch one of my videos every day, we're going to be emphasizing how to bring this into your life. I'll be offering teachings, wisdoms, and definitely offering blessings. And uh, so I encourage you to stay for all of these practices. The ninth of the Daws is the greatest service. And the last and the final Da is the greatest enlightenment. So Dr. and Master Shah, uh, as I indicated, he takes no credit. And yet behind him is literally hundreds of thousands of what would be termed soul healing miracles where people had significant major health issues reversed. Same thing with emotional blockages, depressions, anxieties. Uh, same thing with some, some heavy, heavy, heavy financial conditions. And so 
all he did was apply these virtues and showed people how to apply them. So as we move forward, I will go into that. I want to acknowledge some of the newer people who came in and then we'll go ahead and set the energy field and move forward. Okay, welcome Ilona, welcome Jama, welcome Savannah, welcome Magdalene, I believe I've acknowledged you already, welcome Eleanor, good to see all of you, welcome Michelle, and uh, Debbie Davenport, aloha, welcome Zilke, welcome Emma McLaughlin, and Stacy Reed, good to see you, Stacy. Uh, Janet, welcome, Archana, coming in from uh, India, and welcome Elizabeth, Tammy Hunter, Diane Mouton, and Ali, welcome Matthew, aloha. We have a worldwide crowd joining us. So let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We place our hands in a hand mudra position, much like a, a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. And the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. This is a, a special hand mudra that assists heaven to connect to our heart center. Okay? Close your eyes. Let us fully connect. Dear beloved, the divine, the Tao, the source, ultimate creator, we love you, honor you, respect you. I bow down to all of you. Dear my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, I bow down to you. Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all of uh, our uh, downloads and treasures. Dear the soul of all beings of the light side, stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, all masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, including but not limited to beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, Namo Amitofu, beloved Happy Buddha, Laughing Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, beloved Medicine Buddha, Krishna, Ganesha, all beings of love and light, we love you, honor, respect you, and again, I bow to all of you. We ask you to be present at this time to assist each and every one of us watching uh, to assist us to open our heart, open our soul, allow each and every one of us to receive this wisdom with the greatest value possible. Please borrow my mouth and allow me to serve as appropriate. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to please turn on. And as we chant this Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, we ask that all souls in all universes join us in one heart, one soul. So for those that are unfamiliar, Kristen uh, will post how you can download this soul song for free. Bring healing and rejuvenation to yourself. So let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula Hallelujah, Lula Hallelujah. Oh, I was in early, oh, I tried rarely. Wang Ling Rong, her musher song, song I ping on a Song I ping on a shin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Deborah. Welcome, Dvorka and your daughter. Welcome, Brianna. Good to see you here, Brianna. Uh, welcome, Crystal. And welcome, Susan. Coming in from Canada. Welcome, Dean. Staying up late tonight. And welcome, Monica. And Kristen just posted the links to... Um, uh, this soul song. For those, if you enjoyed that, uh, it is actually in over 50 languages. The PDF that she has put into the links there, you can download it and see what it is in your favorite language. Okay, The song itself can be downloaded as well. It is complimentary. The, the uh, copyright has been taken off of it and it is designed to serve humanity, to bring all souls together in love, peace and harmony and oneness. It's very simple if you think about it. The more people that focus on 
um, one thought, doesn't matter what it is, that creates energy around it. And so if there was a cloud of, of all over the world of people chanting for love and peace and harmony, obviously that would be the result. That's not new. What is new is the power that is in this song. I'm not going to go into a, I could do an entire one hour just on this song, but the short version is if you play it, you will receive rejuvenation beyond imagination. It is an extraordinary high frequency song. So do yourself that favor and learn more about it. Today is the first of the teachings on the 10 Da's. When I was up at the retreat, I asked my, my soul and uh, my divine channel, how, what is the best way to serve the students that, 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 that take the time out of their day to come to watch me on Facebook live stream? Because I truly honor your time. I don't want it to be wasted. I want it to be of great value to you. And what I heard very clearly was, we need to focus on the 10 Da's. Now, there, there's only been uh, a little bit of information for the most part put on this, and it's in Master Shah's newest book called um, Soul Over Matter. We've all heard of mind over matter, but soul over matter. This is, it is the soul light area, all things soul, and the wisdom goes so deep, literally it would take me months to, to go into all the different aspects of how soul can bring you healing. Everything from soul wisdom, to soul conferencing, to soul marketing. Trust me, the list goes on. The rabbit hole was really deep. But in terms of the Da's, these are some of the highest wisdoms that have come to the planet today. And the first one is Da I. So when I was asking guidance, well, how do I present Da I, which means greatest love? Um, I had a perception, but when I sat down before this, this uh, show, guidance said something different. What it said was, show people how to bring Da I in the major areas of their life. And so, greatest love in the major areas of our life. So, uh, I'm announcing today that my live streams will be occurring Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Same time, 2 p.m. HST, 4 p.m. Eastern uh, Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, midnight in the UK, 1 a.m. in Europe, it's 11 a.m. in Australia, 5.30 a.m. in India, so all that's still the same. But Fridays, stopping to do Fridays now. Uh, I will be doing other projects that I'll need the additional time for. These four days and each of these weeks, I'm going to be focusing on each of the Da's. This week is greatest love. And today I'll be focusing on self-love. How we can use this wisdom to bring self-love. Now, I'm not going to be doing the teaching. I'm going to ask the Divine for the teaching. I'm going to be doing a flow very shortly here and we'll see some additional wisdom. And then we're going to do some actual practices, then I'll offer a blessing. Uh, tomorrow, it will be the greatest love, da I, for healing our relationships. Uh, uh, Wednesday, I'll be doing greatest love for clearing um, and blessing blockages in our success, our career, and our finances. And on Thursday, I'll be working with the greatest love for uh, our health. Okay, because love melts all blockages. This is called a one sentence secret, and love melts all blockages. Most people, including myself, are still learning about love. There is so much to learn about this one word. We have so many associations with it, typically with relationships. Um, but what we fail to understand is it literally goes through the roots of all existence to the initial. Uh, beginning of existence all the way to source source is the act the highest purity of this and we are so far from source but source is always in us a hundred percent of the time at a hundred percentile love we only feel one percent ten percent it varies from time to time the wisdom and teachings of Dr. Master Shah shows us how to clear what he refers to as karmic blockages that inhibit us from connecting to that source love that is always there. So when you hear the words, love melts all blockages, the, the deeper wisdom, as, as we will practice it over the next four days, is that, that the divine's love, the source love, can heal anything. Literally instantly. I, I have witnessed so many healings so fast, just instantly. It's just not uncommon anymore. It's very, very common. I witness it on a daily basis. 
and I've come to understand that the source is love and that source can heal. But we, as students, need to understand it on a far greater basis, how we can use it to heal our finances, how we can use it to heal our health, how we can use it to heal our own self-love issues. And so I could spend an entire week just on self-love. And I do, actually, in my, in, my, in my soulmate course. That's one of the things I'm going to be putting a lot more focus on is my soulmate course. So keep your ears open for that one. So what I want to start with is a flow. It's called a divine flow for anybody that's new. Um, one, of the, one of the great values of studying under a, a true teacher, a true master, is that they give you the opportunities, the abilities, and the practices to open your spiritual channels. And Dr. and Master Shah has, has trained many thousands of, of people to open their seven chakras and the four major spiritual channels to receive heaven's information. And so uh, I will do a flow now. Um, and I, I believe I'm going to ask the soul of Da'ai, the greatest love, to offer us some wisdom on how best we can apply today's practice, which will be towards self-love. Okay? Dear the soul, of Da I, the greatest love, the soul of lack of self love and all of the attributes in our life, all of the conditions in our life, all of the people, places, things, karmic implications that cause us on an individual and collective basis to have a lack of self love. Could you please come at this time? to the soul of how a lack of self-love shows up in our life, how it could cause us to have poor health, have poor finances, have a lack of healthy relationship. Could you please come at this time? I ask the soul of Da'ai to borrow my mouth to allow me to speak your wisdom for all of those that are watching at this time. Please, I ask that you speak in such a manner that the wisdom can be heard and understood and applied in the highest and best way possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is the soul of the virtue known as Da I. I have been for ever. There is not a moment in time that I do not touch. There is not a place or a space that I do not permeate. But in every time, in every space, and in every moment, the ability to perceive me is quite limited depending upon the awareness of the ones that I am touching. When I say this, I am not referring to just humans. My love permeates your cells and they have a soul. It permeates plant life and they have a soul. Everything known and unknown has a soul, and I touch them all. It has been said that love melts all blockages, and this is the truth. How is this possible? Imagine, if you will, a sun that explodes and it explodes into so many pieces that there is not a number large enough to represent it. Infinity upon infinity, pieces of light. Just because that piece of light is a billion light years away from its source, does it have any less love than its original creator? Of course not. But it is the distance that creates this illusion. So when you hear that love melts all blockages, it is in direct correlation to the remembering of this truth. The divine 
the source, creator, is forever and perpetually in you. And that spark is never diminished, ever. It is the lack of awareness and alignment to this truth that is the source of the sufferings for each soul, as well as the source of the beauty, the love, and the flourishing of each soul. For all of you, my love for you is higher than high, greater than great, wider than wide, and farther than the farthest. There is nothing that can inhibit my love for you. These are the words of your Creator, my Creator. Why is it so difficult for you to not only hear or receive it, but to accept and roll in it? It is because of our individual choices through all experiences of all time. When we have made choices, you and other souls, to explore. Exploration is good. But if that exploration creates separation from oneness, from source, from da I, then there is an imbalance. And if that imbalance affects another soul, then there is what could be termed karma generated. Suffering, as it has been said by your beloved Buddha, is the nature of life. It is only the nature of life because of the separation from source. Today and each day during these practices, I will come to each of you. I, Da I, the greatest love, am the purest aspect of original source. And I can melt all blockages because there is not a part of you that I am not in. There is not an experience you have ever had that I cannot soothe. There is not a pain that you have ever suffered that I cannot mend and heal because you are original creator as well. So as I leave you with these words, my encouragement to you is to go deep into this teaching, practice well, and remember always that you are never far from creator and creator is never far from you. This is the soul of Da I, the greatest love. Ha, ha, ha. When I open my eyes, I see that the um, that it was skipping a little bit. So I hope that you were able to hear everything. I apologize if you were not. That was a very pure flow. So thank you, Divine Tao Source. Thank you, the soul of Da'ai. So how do we practice Da'ai? The first thing we want to do is empower ourselves as much as possible. So there are a couple of sources that you can use to support yourself. One is by picking up some of the newer books that have information on Da'ai. Uh, that includes, for example, the newest book, Soul Over Matter. Actually, that's a very good book, and it gives an excellent foundation, but it is also um, is co-written, and so it does not carry the depth of the deep wisdom that Dr. Master Shaw would normally put in his books. It actually has four hours total in there. So in terms of a, a, a book that would carry the wisdom that would assist you the most, I would recommend 
for example, Soul Healing Miracles, which has uh, nine very special calligraphies in it. The reason I'm suggesting that is because um, calligraphies are a medium through which the greatest love can be shared. Uh, and there is a calligraphy in there for Da'ai, the greatest love. By having that available and tracing it, you'll have the, um, a, fa uh, a tool, because we, we want to surround ourselves with tools, things that will assist us in healing. So this is what one of those calligraphies would look like. This one is called Da'ai, and these are two symbols. The top one is Da, which means greatest. The bottom one is love. And this specific uh, calligraphy style is called Iebitsu, which means oneness calligraphy. And the unique thing about this calligraphy is it has power infused into it. For those that have followed me for a while, uh, you have already received healing. You know that this is not hocus pocus. You know this is the real deal. For those that are new, though, you really have no idea. Even just hearing, you know, calligraphy can heal, it's going to make your head spin a little bit. But what's important to know about authentic uh, masters, authentic servants to humanity, is they weren't, they didn't come here accidentally. They came because Source sent them. And they have extraordinary powers. Dr. Master Shah is one of many servants that have come to help humanity. And he has been gifted with the ability to offer uh, extraordinary healing blessings. He's also been gifted with the opportunity and authority to put power into objects and things, including uh, many, many of his books. So my encouragement to you, if you're kind of new at this, you'd like to learn a little bit more, pick up just about any of his books, including Soul Healing Miracles, the one I just mentioned. Um, there's one, and don't con confuse the words, but if you want to know who this man is, uh, there's a book written called um, Miracle Soul Healer. starts out with miracle. The other one is Soul Healing Miracles. But the outside book from an outside author is called Miracle Soul Healer. And it's written by a pessimist, a person who doesn't believe anything. Um, and then he came to understand who this, who this special being was. And he wrote a book. It was very well written for those people that have question mark on their forehead. So um, either case, you want to empower yourself to have healing as much and as quickly as possible. So we will chant the word Da'ai, which carries a frequency with it. I will invoke the Da'ai calligraphy card, and I will trace on your behalf. And today we're going to be working on self-love and self-love related concerns. Now, self-love can show up in many areas in our life as uh, blockages. <clears throat> it can keep us from saying no when we really should. Uh, otherwise, we get hurt or we get taken advantage of. It can keep us from saying yes to ourself um, when we really do need to do that, that whatever for ourselves, but we don't love ourselves enough to make that choice. There's so many ways it can harm us. But the good part of this is we don't have to have uh, uh, hours and hours of psychological education to try to work through it on the mind level. We simply bypass all that, go straight to the heart, and deal with it at the level of origination. So another uh, three minute teaching so you have a, a place to, to, to anchor this wisdom. Dr. Master Shah brings the, the wisdom that everyone and everything has a soul and every soul's purpose is to serve. Every soul uh, it lives forever because it's part of original source. So we, you and I, Probably not going to live forever, not unless, we're, 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 not unless we figure something out real fast. Um, so we're going to live 100 years, die, come back. Live 100 years, die, come back. That's if you believe in, in reincarnation. If you don't, that's okay. Not trying to change your perspective. But um, in terms of soul, soul goes on forever. And soul carries with it all the good experiences, all the unpleasant ones. The good experiences bring us good health, good finances, good relationships. The not so pleasant things we've done to others bring us unpleasant health, unpleasant finances, unpleasant uh, relationships. And so if we stop and recognize this base foundational teaching that our physical real world problems down here have a root up here. The root is at the soul level, at our Akashic Record level.
So if we can heal the things up here, if we can remove the soul level blockages at the point of origination, then the, the shadow, the, the reflection of the imbalance, which is where we're at down here, has to change. It has to change to match what's up there. This is why it's not necessary to go down the road to major psychological problems uh, and, and deal with things at the mind level. Who, whoever has success dealing with things at the mind level, very, very hard to accomplish. Um, and, and if you do have success, if you check with a lot of those people, um, they're constantly battling the next mind problem. Where if we deal with things at the level of soul, the level of love, we just melt the blockages and then our life starts changing down here. So that's the base foundation wisdom. So much more to share, but that's the, the, um, the short version, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the four powers. We're gonna sit up straight with our back away from the back of the chair, if possible, if it's not uncomfortable. We're gonna put our feet flat on the floor, okay? And uh, we're gonna touch our tongue to the roof of our mouth. I like touching mine right, right next to my teeth. Very gentle, very relaxed. It's actually a very normal body position. Children have their tongues there. And that's a life choice if you can do it. Keeping your tongue there connects uh, the energy circle in your body. So that's your body position. Now we're going to use a hand mudra, I'll show you in a minute. But it's, it's the solite hand arrow position. So the right hand pointed towards heaven, left hand gently over your chest area. Don't push, leave some space. This is your, your body power. Sound power, we're going to chant da I greatest love and I will lead you in that chant that mantra uh, I will also use soul power using this calligraphy card it has extraordinary power in it and I will use it to bless you give me a moment Aha, okay and uh, mind power Mind power is creative visualization. So since we're working with self-love, we're going to visualize our heart center. Heart center, as you probably know, is in the center of your chest, uh, right about at the sternum area. So visualize inside your heart golden light. Visualize it coming in from 360 degrees. If it's easier for you, you can visualize like a, a rainbow or a, a white light with, with uh, infusions of the beautiful red ray of love. Whatever's comfortable for you, that's your creative visualization. So I will start an invocation. I ask you to join me. We place our hands in the Soul Light Soul Service hand position. And if you're comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear the Divine, dear the Tao, the Source, Original Creator. My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I am deeply honored to receive this guidance, wisdom, and blessings today to the soul of Da I, the greatest love that has permeated my soul, every organ, every system, every cell in my body, my emotional body, my mental body, even my spiritual body. I love you. I'm so grateful to you, Da I, the greatest love, for being in me. I ask that you please clear my blockages to self-love in whatever way is most appropriate. I'm very humbled, very honored, and very grateful. Thank you. And now I will do a forgiveness practice. Again, if it's comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear all souls in this and all time, if I have caused you to close your heart if I have spoken to you in such a way that you feel less than, insufficient, if I have communicated with you in any way that was not fully loving, unconditional, and accepting of who you are, I deeply, humbly, and sincerely apologize. I know that asking for forgiveness is not enough. I will continue to serve. I will continue to do forgiveness and be a better person. Thank you for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. So with your eyes closed, visualizing either the golden or the rainbow or the white light in your heart center area, send yourself your greatest love, align to the divine creator's greatest love. Remember, it is already in you 
100%, we are just clearing the karmic clutter that has kept us from seeing it. So as you are chanting, along with me, I will be tracing the Da'ai calligraphy card on your behalf to the soul of the countless blessings, saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures, layers of divine Tao and source transmitted to this calligraphy. I love you, honor you, about you. I ask you to please, as appropriate, subdivide, go to everybody watching this video, live and in the future, offer them blessings as appropriate for this request. I am very grateful. Thank you. Die, die. Da I da I da I da I da I da I. You may place your hands in the solite hand position, or you can relax them gently on your lower abdomen. The key is to be comfortable. Da I da I. Dai da I da I da I da I da I greatest love melts my self love blockages. Greatest love melts my self-love blockages. Die, 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 die. Da I da I greatest love, greatest love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Continue to visualize the greatest love coming from inside of you and from outside of you, clearing the blockages. Da-ai, 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 da I die. I forgive myself for not loving myself. I forgive myself for self judgment. I forgive myself. For thinking that I am not enough, I forgive myself for trying to make other people love me. I forgive myself for trying to be seen and appreciated. I forgive myself for not realizing I'm enough. Die, die, greatest love. Die, die, greatest love. Dear all souls, please forgive me if I hurt you, made you feel less and less. 
Please forgive me if I talked down to you. If I forced you to give me your love, please forgive me. Da I die, I, greatest love. Da I die, I, greatest love. Now the healing is continuing to work. I will walk you through a visualization. See yourself walking into your heart center. See yourself walking into your own heart center. See how bright it is inside your heart center, glowing brighter and brighter. And as you look around, you see another soul in there. A soul that looks just like you, but they're bent over and they're sad. Walk over to this soul. Look in their eyes and tell them, I love you. I honor you. I deeply apologize for not saying yes to support you when you needed that support. I sincerely apologize for not saying no when I needed to say no to protect us. Please forgive me. I love you. And watch that soul reach up and give you a big hug. You're hugging yourself. You are forgiving yourself. You are honoring yourself. I love you. Sing to your soul. I love you. 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 Open our heart and soul. 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 And now see the soul that you were singing to, sending love to. Notice how much straighter they stand, brighter they are how they feel so much better. Tell them these words, I love you. I will make better choices to support you. I will say yes when it makes us stronger. And I will say no when it means to protect us. I will not look for outside approval anymore. I will remember. God is always in me and loves me unconditionally. And then leave the heart center with the soul so bright. It is so happy and so bright with this message. And as you leave, return fully to your body. And when you fully come back, check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Are you feeling lighter? Are you feeling 
joyful. Released. Are you feeling relieved? Any vibrations, any sensations? Is your heart center open or hot? Is your crown chakra buzzing? Please share any experiences from this practice that you have. And I encourage all of you to pay attention to the next days because you will find that heaven will give you an opportunity to grow. Heaven will give you an opportunity to say yes or no. So let's see if you have learned to love yourself. Heaven will give you what is called the test because they want to support you to being fully all that you are capable of, to returning to the divine's heart and soul. And so it will give you those opportunities. So I see Janice has shared. She's felt an adjustment in her spine. I did a uh, healing and transmission system once for a, a beautiful lady. Uh, she was coming out of a relationship and she had significant spine pain and she was just not in a good place. And I did a healing and transmission system for her heart center. So cleared out all the blockages, put a light wall protection, did the soul operation. And what she shared was, I cannot believe the entirety of my back pain is gone. It is just gone. And uh, months later, I spoke with her, back pain never returned. It goes to show you the physical manifestation of heart suffering can be quite large, actually. And so Ali, she said, my soul is so grateful to you and the Divine Master Paul. Thank you, Ali. Emily says, wonderful and peaceful. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you, Emily. Susan, I feel absolutely wonderful. Feel the light flowing from me can be seen. Crying happy tears. Namaste. Wonderful, Susan. So happy to have you join us here today. And thank you, Dean, for recommending Susan. And Dean has felt a warm heart. Dean has a warm heart, so it's not, not hard for him to feel a warm heart. So today's practice uh, could have significant benefits. It's something that you could and should do again. You can go back to this video afterwards and just do this practice part and watch it again and again. Um, for those that are new, the you know the chanting that's beautiful it's nice the but what really brought the healing was the soul of da i and that calligraphy card I'm telling you there are significant blessings in there you might not know it but <laughs> i've done this far too long to not know that's true uh, my voice does have uh, healing vibrations uh, just because of the frequency that i carry but it's the calligraphy card and the soul of the eye that is doing a tremendous benefit for you. If you are on an edge, let's say a negative edge, are you feeling better? If you were in a depressive state, is that released? If so, why wouldn't you want to do that more? Can you think of any reason why you wouldn't want to do it more? You should. These practices are life practices. It sounds simple. That's the interesting thing about soul healing. It's extremely simple. You think in just repeating da I and singing is going to help? It actually will. It's when you do it using the four powers, body power, mind power, sound power, and the most important is soul power. Remember, we invoked the souls of all the holy beings. They came. They offered huge blessings. Heaven's angels were flying around. There's heaven's animals, dragons. There's lots of souls here helping us out. And so when we invoke the souls of heaven, they come. Also, the calligraphy, countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, treasures in these calligraphies. I tell you, the, the power in them is extraordinary. And so uh, there's no reason why we can't go back and use them again and again. The key is to remember forgiveness and gratitude. Always say thank you. When I wrap everything up, I will, will offer my gratitude to all of the holy beings for their service here today. So I'm going to read some of the responses. Okay, and so uh, lots and lots of hearts from Elizabeth and Nicole says this was my first experience that she it was beautiful and she feels lighter. Elizabeth, uh, she says lots of hugs. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yan Ping, my body is very hot. Thank you. And Susan says thank you. Joanne, she says I'm smiling like a Cheshire cat. I saw my soul shining, beautiful, multiple colors coming from it, and it was dancing, and it was uh, <laughs> your soul was dancing. Yeah, that happens. Uh, Dean says, thank you. Another thank you from Amy. Elizabeth, lots and lots of hugs. Wonderful day. Lori says, her crown chakra is tingling, feeling amazing, and any pain I had is gone. 
Wow, beautiful. What do we say? Always. Thank you, God. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Source. And I say thank you to my teacher, Master Shaw. I'd recommend that you do because he's the one that brought these teachings to us. Um, Eleanor says, warm heart as well. Tears are flowing. Monica, wow, that was such a beautiful, uh, powerful practice. Greatest gratitude, dear Master Paul. Greatest gratitude is Dagon In. That's the eighth of the ten Das. Uh, and Renee has shared this and 55 other people have shared this. Thank you for all your sharing of this video. And so Susan, if you do have time this evening, give me a ring. We'll see if we can make some time for you. Um, Linda, feeling lighter, peaceful, relieved, heart open, crown buzzing. Angie Taylor, feeling lighter and feeling so loved. And I'm sure I seen when eyes closed, Go uh, gold and purple, pulsing light, third eye closer to opening fully. Awesome, just beautiful. And Ali, uh, her depression is released. Excellent, congratulations. Uh, Renee, thank you for staying the whole time, Renee. I know you're so busy. Uh, thank you for this amazing practice and blessing, Master Paul. I took the Soul Over Matter book over my message sensor while you were chanting and, and traced the Da I calligraphy. It felt so warm all over. Wonderful sharing. And then also, um, I felt tingling on his fingertips. And Cheryl said, beautiful light. She felt it being swaddled and rocked in Da I light. Lots of holy beings. Zilke says, thank you. Samantha says, thank you. Okay, so many. Uh, Brianna, lighter, happier, grateful, humbled, hard to explain, but my chin and chest were lifted by a powerful energy, so I was chanting upwards towards my soul. Wow, amazing feeling. Congratulations, Brianna. And Brianna had a, a wonderful healing experience as well um, with some emotional condition. And so uh, it's, it's the power of soul. So I encourage you to ask more questions. Uh, know that there is much, much higher power and healing available. If you have some significant blockages in your life, feel free to contact me. We can work you with those. I can give you more information. Um, my website is listed above the video. You're welcome to learn more there as well. The, one of the keys of this is to share it with others. You probably know some people that have, you know, some major self-love blockages. And, um, you know, just ask them, are you interested in watching, you know, this video? Uh, it, it might be able to help you. If the answer is yes, um, when the video is done here, all you do is, on any of my videos, you just right click on the video itself and one of the three choices that pops up is copy this URL. You can plop it in an email, send it to them. And they, I believe they should be able to watch it. I don't think they restrict it if it goes out that way. Um, so there's many different ways that we can share this. But the key is we have to awaken humanity to open their heart, to realize that love is always around us 100% of the time. And great, great, great opportunities to heal and rejuvenate. Tomorrow, I'll be using the I for healing relationships. And so we all have blockages in our relationships. Could be with one or two people, could be with more than one or two people. But we're gonna keep it focused to uh, uh, a direct relationship, um, lover or, or family member, something like that. And we're going to be, uh, we see, I'll do another flow. I'll do a flow every day because the soul of Da I has a lot to teach us. And I will ask its guidance related to relationships, how we can use this wisdom to help to bring healing to our relationships. We'll do practices for relationships. I might use a practice out of one of Master Shah's books as well. And so please share. Uh, if you're new and you'd like to know when I go live, there's a subscribe button. It's either showing up now on your video or when I finish, it will show up. And uh, other than that, feel free to contact me through Facebook Messenger. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, Divine Down Source. Thank you, all layers of all committees in heaven, Divine Down Source. Thank you to all of the beings of light, Guru Sifu Saints, Masters of the Masters of Islam, Sifus, Gurus, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Jesus, Mother Mary, Ganesha, uh, uh, beloved Krishna. We thank all. All our heavenly teams, guidance, and saints. We thank all of those who have given us this day. That forgiveness, we cannot move forward. So we deeply apologize for the harm that we have caused you. We're extremely grateful for your love and your forgiveness. We ask you to please continue to return each time that we do these practices to feel our heart and soul that we have learned our lessons and we are serving humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. So all souls, please return. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye.